Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Jackie and uh, this is obviously a journal share, um, an Etsy shop journal share. Uh, this journal I'm calling Constance. Uh, she's more the TN size but slightly larger than the standard TN. Uh, so about four and a half by eight and a half, touch under both ways. Uh, it's fabric um, over cardstock, both sides. And some pretty, um, I'm not going to call this really old vintage fabric, but it is quite old. Um, probably about 40 years. This was um, some that I had from my mum. So Constance has got um, vintage cigarette card on the front, layered up with a little bit of lace, vintage lace, I think, for the most part. And she's tied with um, cream sari silk. There are... 68 sides um, and she's got a few dangles on the edge there okay quite full let's take a look inside filled her up rather um, so we have got a little vintage photograph here um, a little bit of gold foiling in this one something I was trying and quite enjoyed doing um, I think I've stitched around here, so I've used another of these cards um, glued onto the fabric here just to hide that stitching. And there's a couple of vintage bits and bobs. This is from 1919, and this is from an original old road atlas, basically. It's quite fun reading. Oh, I haven't glued that down. <laughs> I will get that glued down. Um, some uh, vintage ticket there and some bits and bobs in this pocket it's just some note paper let's just show you that note paper this is from um, I think it's from a French school book and this is a Latin uh, flashcard on this side, I've just popped a little vintage photograph. The baby. I think this must be Dad's knees in the background there. Um, this is a vintage letter. Tied a bow at the top there. And on this side, it's a little bit of a dangle. A full, some um, scrabble paper. A vintage photograph a uh, postcard and in there there's a um, page from the good housekeeping magazine vintage magazine and this is from I think the 1800s a Peterson's magazine that's an American um, ladies magazine from the 1800s Can get that back in this is a vintage cigarette card, Lakeland Terriers, and a um, French book. Here we've got a postcard. I've just dressed that up a bit. No stamp on that one, but a little bit of writing um, in French from a child, which is quite sweet. Stick a label down here. This is an old ledger. This is a vintage jocker from 1932 and I've just put a tab on the top. Made a pocket here. This is um, an old computer card with some fussy cutting, a bit more of that gold. This is just a blank receipt or account from an account book. opens out. This is a journal card backed with um, coffee dyed paper. A fussy cut there and then on this page there's a little tuck spot and one of my um, tall Edith Holden tags or gold. Obviously was in the mood for doing gold. Um, quote up here. This is some pretty paper. Um, I think it might be ruby and pearl, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Another vintage document here, no date on it. 
um, that's nice writing and you can see a rusty mark here where there was um, a paper clip. This page is um, vintage magazine, half um, magazine page. And this is tissue paper, I've just strengthened it. I think uh, the fold there felt very fragile. So I've just strengthened that a little bit. In this tuck spot, there is um, another magazine page, French one this time. And um, a vintage, presumably a copy, it's really, really thin paper. That's from 1931. I like the purple, the purple writing on that. Another of these labels, um, I think these are Junk with Steph labels. An old visitor's book, a botanical page, I've got um, a bit of stenciling and there's an envelope on this side with some vintage photographs in there. another document I've used as a page from 1932 and in the pocket there's a library card and another page from that Peterson's magazine. Pocket is just turned up and collaged. This is a tab. I've used an envelope as a page here, I've opened it out. Edith Holden in the centre. In this pocket there's another of those cigarette card tabs. Uh, tags, sorry, and a vintage photograph, a nice little baby there. Tag I've put together. This one's a bit fragile. From 1895, that's why it's so fragile. And a bit grubby looking, but um, I kind of like the look of that. More ruffle. In this pocket, there's a um, page from an old vintage book and a Beatrix Potter um, journal card. This um, is getting a bit long now, but uh, plow on. Another envelope here that I've put in. This one has got um, an old cabinet card in it. Is it that way around? I can't remember which way around. I never can. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. That's the other side of that uh, magazine page. Another quote. Um, postcard here. Again, no stamp on that one. Just a little bit of writing. And a really sweet um, child. It's just a little stitched collage down there. Got a belly band with some bits and bobs, some old receipts in there, and another page from that old book. This is just stuck on for, sorry, yes, it's stuck on for decoration. Sorry, I couldn't remember that was part of the printout, but I think I've stuck that on. More of that ledger from 1957, some more stenciling. This pocket, uh, this is an original. French document and an old postcard. I haven't been able to find many with stamps recently but this has got some nice French writing on it and I liked the pinks on that. This is a journal card that I've made. She says, can't get it off. And a tab at the bottom back on now. Another little dangle and a wooden bead at the bottom there. In this pocket, um, this is from, I don't think the date's on there unless you might be able to read that. It was 1877. This was um, a sort of autograph type book that I was gifted. Um, it was falling apart so I've used the pages individually um, in some of my journals. 
and vintage photograph. Nice little family there. The little girl looks really happy. And that's the end. On here there's a little um, embroidery. A little uh, collaged embroidery that I've done. So that's Constance um, and she will be in my Etsy shop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.